push if they wanted to run Naga as a call. Yeah. So that would have been perfect for them. SD and Tempest also would have been insane. What do you think they go back for now? Merlini, what do you believe? I don't back think of that many mid laners that can salvage this. It's almost, it's almost always a Matumba, man. Oh. oh, Death Prophet, though. All right, gentlemen, real fast. What do you think? Liquid's lineup is too slow. And yeah, uh, you're gonna take I, I'm agreeing with Mr. Banwood here. Navi's too fast. A lot of stacks of poison on him, but on the left side, here comes Art Style trying to get that first blood. Is going to be able to try and go straight for Jerex. He's got the ensnare ready to go. He will be able to lock down Jerex. Let's see if they can actually finish him off. The disruption comes down from Jerex. Artstyle dropping lower and lower. Tries to go for the neutral deny. Not good enough. And neutrals instead will deny Artstyle. That was the best possible scenario for Navi. Is Artstyle low anyways? It's definitely kept him alive. Is they definitely had enough damage to kill him. That level one shuriken toss doing quite a lot of damage. Even level two right now. Gonna make his way back up top. They are robbing maybe a little bit too cocky as Suneko has left this lane. The Sentry Ward is going to spot him out. It'd be too late. He's already slowed down. He's got the phase boots. Might be able to stay ahead of Mind Control. Gets this round, but the call is there. They finish him off. Liquid evening out the score, but Denny, here with the Vengeance, has the double damage rune. He does not want to blink forward into this. Mind Control. He's got a blink. Kuro actually takes a large amount of damage. Has an if is ready to go. Dendi. He's going to go for a stream again. He's going to get it. He's going to go for it. Dendi reads it perfectly against Kuro. That's a huge kill. That was a decently leveled bounty hunter who was almost level 5. Hellbear Smasher to good use, but is it going to be mid or is he going to invade the Radiant Jungle further? Looks like he's looking towards mid. Kuro making the TP in though, refreshes the bottle of Fada, and they'll look for the 6 minute rune as well. So this Oh, that was an aggressive blink from Dendi, and they're going to find a haste rune too. No, this goes from bad to worse, Dendi! That blink forward thought the 6 minute rune would be all his, but he gets punished immediately by a turn of fates. The haste room picked up by Fada. Ports just runs into something like that, especially if you don't lose a core here. Is Art Style dipping a little bit low? But Liquid. It heal up, starts turning around, having faith in this nature's attack. Gotta be careful, there is a chrono available for Jenner. Got it too. With the Art Style on the back line, they should easily be able to get the kill on Fada until Matumba Man slows things down with a Song of Siren. Dendi has another bling up in five seconds. Don't think they're gonna be oh, able Matumba to Man actually quite low for this. They're gonna try and chase down Matumba Man, but here comes Mind Control. He's got the Vanguard too. They turn around onto Fada. He still has the Exorcism, another Spirit Siphon as well. General is not getting Liquid the back. Until that said, he gets pulled up. Oh no! He ends up going down the call of oh, Dendi in the back line. He takes down two. A top of man, just a sliver of AP. Running away from Seneko, but now Seneko's really going well. Oh, Seneko got it. Dives into the tier two, successfully killing the core. He trades his way, his own life. But even with the track kill, it may be worth it for Na'Vi. Nice and early. We're going to walk by the sentry ward as general. Ready for it. So they know the wards place behind the tier one, tier two now. And they're gonna they run into this. Uh, Seneko, he's got the dust. Got smoked up heroes though. They actually have Dijiron peeping into them. The exorcism goes out. It's all about Fada right now. Will he be able to survive through any burst damage incoming? That silence stops any attempt by Na'Vi. No spells whatsoever from General or Dendi. And Fada gets the free exorcism kill onto the Furion and will now use the rest of that exorcism timing to go for the tier one at top lane. Now, it looks like Liquid, they just want to take this fight. But Tama Man gonna heal up, he's got the boots of travel though to meet the rest of his team. And I think Liquid right now are worried about the possibility of a Roshan. He further confirms, but Tama Man gonna TP top though. This might just be a 5 on 5 fight, it's not me. They're here in full force. It's gonna be real nasty real quickly. They do have General on the side for the fresh Blink Dagger. They've already managed to pick off Curl. They can get more here, especially a core. This would be huge for them. Blink forward. Do you get a bash? Oh, first hit bash for General. Just in time, Fada goes out the Spirit Siphon, but here comes that burst damage. He doesn't have the opportunity to get away from that one. Jerex with the TP out. Blink forward. Oh, oh the Spirit missing. General thought he was going to get a third hero from Liquid. Not the case here. A big team fight ultimate wasted. They still have 40 seconds where the Death Pop is dead. This is going to be dangerous. Ward plays down by Seneko. It's gonna be a huge fight. They're gonna make the jump, but General gets the blink. Radiant's Quick reactions tower. there from General. Now he has the opportunity to respond. He's gonna time lock forward. Double Chronosphere. The rest of the team blinking forward. Dendi, no! Couldn't get off the Sonic Wave in time. A Tumble Man puts everything to a halt with the Song of Siren. Now Mind Control. He's gonna go straight for Seneko. Wants to be able to take out that support first, but he gets off the ultimate. Dendi, Silent Thumb, BKB, Axis by Fada. The Axis will manage to finish him off with the Cooling Blade. Curl will be taken out by Arthel, looks like, but Arthel. 
out, surrounded by a sea of liquid heroes. And on the right hand side, it looks like, oh, the ultimate comes out from Dendi. He managed to at least pick up a support there, but Mind Control still managed to claim a counter kill. And Liquid win the fight with an exorcism still out on top of a tier two tower. And they set the pace of the game. The worst possible thing again is Dendi's item timings have just completely fallen off as he is desperate. I think it's some measure of farm is hard style in this mid lane. Track on him. Shuriken will bounce over as well. Oh, hands running forward. Hope to be able to get off the ensnare. Now, Mind Control actually forced that through. And get the call on two. Calling Blade one. Couldn't get the other for the move. They know that DR Rod's up there. They spot him out one second there with a the Shadow Poison, but no disables to be able to stop him now, General. Oh, got to be careful. Not afford to get picked off here. He's going to be silenced up almost immediately. Won't be able to get a blink or a time walk out. Mind Control with a double kill and another tier two tower going to be forfeited by Navi. And Navi's just getting sloppy right now. Dendi reluctant to fight though without that BKB or the buyback available and this is going to lead to Liquid just continuing to push in. Navi, now it comes back, but where's the fight for them? He with that angst, oh no, he got way too far forward. He's going to be ensnared up, Silas as well. There's no buyback available for that counter. Mind Control comes forward, gets the culling plate once again and gets your raw left with nothing but right clicks. Cannot keep Liquid off of this tier 3 tower. With 15 more seconds still, till General is up with the Chronosphere. Navi cannot afford to lose any more individual heroes, especially not Force. And here comes Art Style. Oh, Art Style thought he was going to be able to get it for a bit more damage on the bottom, but he said they couldn't afford another pick off, and it just happened. Liquid starts streaming forward, chasing Digira back. The Exorcism beating onto the melee racks. It's just before the 30 minute marker, but now the Chronosphere comes in with the buyback. They need to be able to pop on it. They can't quite do it. The Exorcism about, about to fade. He's going to TP out. Everybody from Liquid going to make the clean escape here. Oh. Not be desperate to try to pursue. They use buybacks for this. But instead, they're going to be able to save the racks for Liquid. So this might be a decent fight for Navi, and this might be the best one they find, as they do have that chrono, and it's all, it's going to be all about the angles. They have to full commit right now, because there's 10 more seconds until the Song of Siren is back up. But oh, no chrono here, though. With the illusion, though, and now the initiation. Mind Control managing to get the call out on Art Style. They surround him. Good ult from Dendi from the side, but it's just not quite enough. It's not putting a big enough dent in these cores. It's Liquid are just pushing through the right-hand side. Navi getting quickly surrounded. Tichara also going to go down, and Navi splinter apart, leaving Roshan now in the hands of Liquid. And every single time that Navi is getting kills in this engagement, it's almost always on these two supports. They just haven't been able to nab a core Mind kill. Control's gunning for it, man. He sees it with the track. He's going to be able to get the call. He still has a follow-up. After as well, setting up Fada now for the silence. Oh, let me double get out the double. General not going to be able to stop this. They can actually turn on the general. He still has a track on him. Couple more seconds. The Radiant's putting a stop to that Blink Dagger, but he does get the time watch now out of this Queen of Pain being able to spam out that ultimate, but not the case here. Probably get one more look at a team fight. Come on, sprites. Which case, they need to be the ones to turn to the tempo. General managed to get the time walk away from Mike. Might be the opening they need. Bouncing a lot of damage back. Hard style in the middle of this. And Ango is going to be the first one down, though. Fada Man to get the silence on him. Yule Scepter on a general, stalling out the Chronosphere as best possible. Now, disruption as well. Fada, BK, not the fight. Now, the Chronosphere comes in. They will eliminate Fada, but Mind Control gets the Culling Blade chop. A Tub of Man right in the middle of Navi's face. Looking for more. Mind Control finds it. Will be able to provide the assist with the Blade Mail. Another dunk. Liquid, take out three of Na'Vi, and back out of Na'Vi's base. And it looks like they want to transition this into a bottom tower push as Fada commits the buyback. They smell blood, they know that Na'Vi just simply do not have the items to contest them. They're going to start flooding into this bottom tower. Control instantly pounced every single time. He's got three different ways to set up a fight. Na'Vi have to respect this axe a lot more than they have in these fights. Look at Kuro. Once upon a time, we were talking about how he didn't have the mech quite yet for Fada, but now he's got a Dagon 3. This is going to be potentially the last fight for Na'Vi. They can't afford to lose this one, and this is going to be the perfect target Entry for them to get. From behind, they're going to try and pop a Tumble Man as fast as possible. The disruption! Oh no, the save! And my Tumble Man is back out with half HP. Still has the Song of Siren. Aren't they going to be able to get this kill there? Oh, they're just going to reset this fight. 
Auto with the BKB exits is him out, but Tubba Man will give himself some space. And Na'Vi gonna have to dig themselves out of a hole here. Big Dinchy Rod trying to get to some distance with the Hurricane Spike. Not gonna be the case. Daneko is gonna be able to survive for only a second extra. General, the only one to escape, but he too will fall as Na'Vi call it. The end of the game and the end of their run here at TI comes down as you can see how excited Liquid are. Now they get to get to the best of threes where things aren't so random, but for Na'Vi, this is where it's gonna all end. And a disappointing finish for them as they go home.